Hi everybody, it's Martin at Flicking Feathers again today. Trying a detached foam stone fly. Uh, as always, there'll be a materials link in the description, along with a link to Patreon for anybody who would like to uh, sign up to support the channel. So we'll start by making the detached body. Um, I'd recommend if you're going to tie these, look, sit and just tie up all the detached bodies before you start the fly proper. Um, it's much quicker than uh, like doing one body and then the fly and then the next body then the fly. So the one I had in the vise which you'll be tying is was a kind of olive version but the body that I'm making at the moment's sort of golden stone I suppose. So I've got a piece of 2mm foam. Just got to get that started. Right at the tip of the foam. I'll do the same with my brown for the back. I mean obviously the colours that you use will depend on the areas that you're fishing. Okay, so I'm taking up. Now I'm going to add a couple of tails on this. Just goose beats. You can use turkey if you like. I've got to offer these in one at a time. The tension with the foam will hold that. Just make sure the ends are the same. A wee bit long, put them in a wee bit. Oops. See, at this stage, you can still move them around, you'll know nothing's locked in place yet. When you're happy, you can take another tight wrap and then I'll pull the foam back and take my thread inside. And then I'll take these tag ends, the waste pieces of the goose beer, I'll take a wrapper thread over them and just gather them up against the shank of the, the needle. Then I can make my first segment. Now to add a bit of durability, what I like to do is just put a wee bit of head cement on the thread before I make my like, three or four final wraps on the segment. Come forward, again I'm tying, the, I'm tying these bayets as I go. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Then, same again, make your segment, try to keep it even. Come forward again, and you're ready for your third one. Head cement. Can just touch it to take away any excess. Then a we'll whip finish. Cut 
cut my waist thread quite long. And I'll grab I'm pulling both tag ends here. And I'm just going to slide the body off. Number eight. Uh, Tiebco 100. I'm just going to start my thread. And I've just got to pick up a wee scrap of foam, whatever it is. take my one of my bodies as I say I'm going to just tie the olive because I coloured one I'll measure I want the hook point to come through so in the middle of the next segment so make a hole As a guide, I'll get that in there. Now it's a bit awkward, so but if you just pull everything so sort of out of the way as best you can. Take your thread to where you want the segment to be. Which I reckon is about there. Just take a loose gather and wrap. You can still move stuff at this stage. That's fine. the thread as before now obviously there's still movement in this so when I come up here tie in my my waist thread from the, the body that's you know you're, you're tying the thread from the back and the front here so it's, it's tied at both it's secured at both ends Tidy that up. Um, now, I'm going to get the glue to really lock it in place. So, before I do that, I'm just going to sort of roughly gauge my segment, see where it is. I'm going to put a line. I'm going to put the line in the foam, then I'll back my thread off. And I know where my position is. Just take the super glue and I'll just dab it inside that line. Tighten that foam together. And as you can see, that's locked nicely in place. Now for this one, it's easy. I don't need. To, I don't want to. Don't need to worry about skipping my thread. So I'll just come in and touch the foam. Pinch. Same again. Come over it. At this stage I'm going to sort of tie a nice bed of thread in here. Ok, 
get that well and well secured and just tidy up all this cut foam. Got to skip my thread I like back. If you add um, six legs. You could add eight. You could add four up to yourself. Some barred round rubber. Take half a strand. And I like to measure it so it's coming to like, <clears throat> like back to like three segments length or something like that. I think that's a nice first length. And same with this one. Three segments. Cut the tags. The legs will not go anywhere. Then I'll hop my thread back here. Now I want something just to tidy this up. Um, but I'm going to make a sort of semi bullet head. I'm just going to take another strip of foam but the same width got to put a hole in it and taper the end slightly get the hook through that and then I'm going to catch my foam on the underside getting close to the bin done uh, <clears throat> some kind of dubbing um, ice dub Harry Ice Dub, SLF, Seals Fur, whatever you like really. Um, it's just to sort of tidy up this wee area more than anything else. So that from the underside it's, it's a, bit, a bit nicer. Although it doesn't, it's not really going to matter. Tying another leg. Just the other half of that single strand. It works out quite nicely. On, on this size of fly, it works out quite nicely. If you're going smaller or bigger. It'll not work out just as well. And I'll just snip them off. Now for the wing, I mean it's up to you, you could add a wedge of foam. Whatever really. I'm just going to use some deer hair. Gonna stack it. You could add crystal flash under this or whatever, you know, it's, it's entirely up to you. Once I've stacked my hair. From the length. And all for that and
just come in and clean up these ends. that they're going to be hidden and this will lower, taking this bullet head back will lower and spread the wing gives you a nice sort of fluttering stone fly effect So away your waist. Uh, if you want a sighter, just come in with a wee bit of foam. It's just white, that's white's quite visible. Where I'll be fishing these. But you could use orange or yellow, whatever. Although, I mean it's a big big fairly visible fly anyway, so you probably don't really need it. Uh, there we go. And there you have it, that's it, a detached body, F foam stone fly, very buoyant, very effective pattern, you've got, it's a bit of fun, there's lots of room to experiment, you can adjust the fly, adjust the pattern, colours, wing material etc to suit yourself. So I hope that was useful. If it was, please remember to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up below. Tight lines guys, bye!